No, it's just a. This area is just a little sitting area. There's lots of information on the board. Lots of people. And look at the map here. I can tell you I'm roughly at there or four, five, something like that. I'm going to keep going down past Whitburn onwards. It looks like this comes into a like, shaded area. That's nice. Can you float? I found the lifeguards. I wonder if there's anyone in there. Right, I've uh, gotten not much closer to the uh, cannon. Top of that hill. Crow point and a disappearing gun. There you go, it's about... Wait, Max... Her on Maxim disappearing gun took place on the 16th of December, 1887. That's older than I thought. Perhaps the one up there is newer. Interesting. Oh, I get quite the view up here. Look at the beach. And time off over there. Let me zoom in. See, Safe Shields Amusements. There we go. Safe Shields Amusements and the beach front. And I could keep going along. Eventually, I would get to what well, there's North Shields Lighthouse and there's Safe Shields Lighthouse. Well, I'm coming up to the back of the gun. I wonder if I can even get up there to have a look. Well, you can't get to the front of the gun, or up there, but I can show you what it looks like. Look at that. And at some point that worked. I wonder if it ever fired any shots or if it was just...
Right, I'm heading now towards this bunch of rocks over there. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, that sea water looks lovely and green and sort of shimmering. This is a beautiful walkway, this. Very scenic and beauty. There's a line there. With some birds sitting on, I don't know if I can. Yeah. I assume that's a low ridge in terms of the water because there's certain birds I to see there. I'm coming up to this rock now, I can see that there's trails on it, people have tried to walk up it but I don't think I will it looks a bit too perilous although hang on there's a bit of wildlife up there Let's see if I can get that on Look at this rock, it's a cliff edge, it's like, it goes off up there and I think I can get a face out of this, there's like an eye there, it goes into a nose there, and it's sort of like underneath there. That's interesting that rock is. The more I look at this rock, the more I can see that face. And the mouth down there, nose, then eyes, and the hair. I wonder if someone's carved in there, or if that's natural. Over there is the South Shields Lifeboat sort of museum. And I will zoom out showing you how far I've walked. Now, a distance. If I go round now, you can see more cliffs. More over there, if I zoom in, there's my sort of stop zone. I've come up to an 
interesting sort of cliff edge building. And there's an island there. The lighthouse isn't on that island, it's behind it. Do you know, I was looking at this rock over here and thinking, what's that little mark? Because that's on top. There's a flag or some sort of monument, but no, it's people. I have no idea how they got up there. I, mean, I suppose there is a park. Oh, precarious one there. Well, this is an interesting walk. It's just a pathway. I thought the camp was up here. I don't think I'll go down. board here saying please and all that. There's a lime kiln and lime burning. There was a village that was stood here between here and Soda Lighthouse. But it's all gone and all that's left is this. Oh we've got a massive board here talking about all the the lighthouse and all that. It was Interesting, because it's the first lighthouse to be powered by alternating current electricity. Oh, that's interesting. That's fascinating, that. And you got the rock. Thank you.
And that I've passed the uh, lighthouse, I wonder what on earth is my next focal point? There's nothing really over there, I mean, I suppose I have to find out what's over the ridge. deep hole or just a shallow hole. There's a hole nevertheless. Our path goes over on. There's some really interesting caves over there. But it's impossible to get to. I know it's not impossible because there's people there. Never mind. I'm not hole there, cave there, and look, arches there, Well, I've just walked past the, well, this is the bird watching point. So I've come round the corner and I can see in the distance, if I zoom in, I don't know if it's going to show, just about that there is Rope de Lighthouse. That's my final destination when I finish this walk. Perhaps it's a stone maze. I see like little pathways in it and it's got to go to the centre or something like that. It's quite amazing that. a sign here right at the Tyne Ferry being five and three quarter miles in that direction which is roughly where the South Shields is and Sunderland is about three and a half miles so all together that's what eight nine nearly nine miles well there are some really quite posh and impressive sort of houses here all looking over the sea but that thing there I know it's a fake bird but it Little seating point over here. That's what it was a small little pillbox at some point. And it's been converted to allow people to sit and watch the sea. Oh 
Oh, I know we're so close now. I've come up a bit of artwork here. Let's ring around it. I'm approaching now what well, appears to be like a mini lighthouse. I suspect it was possibly used as a white lighthouse at some point. Cannonball limestone, world class theology. Interesting. Look at that, it looks like there's a building embedded into the rock there. Here you can see the divide in the sand. Well, this is something that's going to come across. A naval mine. Well, I'm going to end this video here. The camera is getting low, the battery. I have done my walk, 10 miles or so. Maybe a little bit less time. It's uh, started off at 12 o'clock midday, it's now half past four. Oh, I'm tired now. So, yeah, that's, that's it. See you all another time, I suppose.